Chinese Centurions recently won 27 games in a row and today the club strengthened its squad with another signing as it bids for a return to Super League. Yes, no question that's been given exclusive behind the scenes access to the Centurions this season. And in our latest report, Stuart Pollock joined the players on their annual golf day. To Bezik, across to Ridyard, over the top to Hickson. Hickson for the corner! They're on course for a return to Super League. But on the golf course, things aren't going as smoothly for the Centurions. Sorry, got me off. say the quality is, is mixed. Yeah, very mixed. <laughs> While some in the squad were driven to distraction, the club's latest signing was being driven to meet its new teammates. Matthias has swapped life in the south of France to the south of Lancashire. It's too hot in France. Uh, too hot in Lee today. Yeah, it's hot. It's like France today. Everyone wants to be a part of this. It's another statement of intent from owner Derek Beaumont. He's bankrolled Lee's recent revival. The wife isn't too pleased about it, but uh, no, I mean, the, the new era is what's changed everything. Uh, from Lee, from his my involvement in you know, the financial support, he's off the back of the fact that there's a realistic uh, old need to get Super League. <laughs> the FNC today is vital because we've not had a home game uh, this month. There's no real income, but there's still a big wage bill, so the work on events like this and the support of our sponsors uh, assists with cash flow at a difficult time. So you've forced me off. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a call. <laughs> it's no wonder spirits are high amongst the league players. After all, this is a team that has won 28 of its last 29 matches. We're doing a bit better at rugby than we are at golf, which is good, but we treat each other like mates, and I've never been at a club where everyone's quite as close. And anyone looking a dent in Lee's ambitions will have a battle to break the team spirit at this club. Stuart Pollitt, BBC North West Tonight. Just confirm, Lancashire won by 